Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps, and today we are painting ABC Warrior G-Men. Obviously, from the Pat Mills comic, the ABC Warriors, I'll quickly show you the four figures. That's right, I'm painting four at a time here. Uh, wish me luck. I'm picking this one because he's, I think he's going to have the most actual colours on him by the final. But expect me to be painting all the models as we go along. We're kicking things off with the grim black, if I can get my camera focusing on it. Now, as we all know, painting is pretty boring. <laughs> At least if there's somebody narrating it. You're going to watch me paint. I'm going to talk about the G-Men. It's not going to take long, actually. There's not a lot of the uh, background stuff on them, which is a little annoying. Uh, obviously, if you've read the comics, you know who they are. But for those who haven't, here's a quick rundown. Uh, the box, obviously, is by Warlord Games. You get four models. It looks like one female model, uh, three male models. One has a robotic face for some reason. And one is dual wielding. Now, in their example, I'm bringing this up now because you'll notice it later. I guess the squad leader... They gave a red ribbon around his hat. I end up doing that to all my models because I just think it looked cooler and the rule of cool always wins out. I guess it's the kind of sinister government agent look, and I'm sure that's exactly what the artist was going for. And I think he just pulls that off really well. Now, the models in question. There is obviously one based on Inspector Stern, who has the red ribbon in their artwork and in the actual artist's artwork. The other characters should have grey around their hat, but I'm not doing that. They obviously based them all on characters from the comic because when you look at the faces you can spot them within this comic book strips so I'm a little annoyed that there is one character and it's not the one we're painting it's one of the other ones he actually carries a massive rifle gun in the comic book story so the fact that he doesn't have that here kind of annoys me they instead just gave him a single pistol and I would have loved to have seen that, that little change that maybe they could have these high-powered rifles instead. But as you can see, I have finished the black layer. I just covered it all in black. I thought it'd be easier that way. Uh, the other characters, I left the faces clear, and where the white shirt was showing was also left clear to make it easier to paint later. But for this model in particular, because he's got a metallic face, made it a lot easier. I could just slap the whole thing down as black. I then grabbed the Stormhost Silver. I'm using metallic paints today. I know. First we had the uh, the paint job on Wednesday, the Warhammer model. Heavy on the metallics, and now I'm doing more metallics. I hate using metallics, but they're going to get the effect that I want, and they're going to do it well and effectively. And I'm just going to have to accept that now and again I have to use them even though I hate them, but I'm just going to put on my big boy pants and I'm going to use them. So I'm picking out the buttons. Nice, simple job. I've got a tiny bit of paint on my brush. Uh, I'm also going to try and pick out their logos that they wear on their chests and on their arms, which is some sort of, I almost want to say religious symbol. I'm not entirely sure it is that, but it makes me think of that. And then he also has these weird circles on this bicep, which I'm not entirely sure what that is. 
I'm going to pick that out. And then obviously I need to cover the entire face because this model in particular, he has a robot face. I, get, I can only assume he's a cyborg. But we got to make sure we capture every last bit of silver. I'm obviously not going to keep them this way. I'm going to cover them up with some paint later. But we're starting to lay down colors here. Hopefully this makes sense to you guys as you're watching the video. It's also probably a good time as I'm painting his face to say like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's nice to be back. It seems like everyone's back to work. Uh, kids are back at school. I feel like a routine's coming down again. I'm getting back into the flow of things. I now have Fridays off, which is great. So I'm going to start using Fridays to get some projects done. Maybe I can get everything recorded and then spend Sunday editing. Make my life a bit easier. See if I can start getting some videos out a few days earlier for the members. And just be a bit more organized. I also, hopefully, next weekend, or next Friday. So this is coming out Friday. This Friday that this video is out on. I'm just painting some figures. I'm going to try and get a few videos ahead. Make my life easier. And then next Friday, I want to set up for another Judge Dread game. I really enjoyed the Judge Jewel game that we did. So I'm going to try and do something similar to that again, like a one shot, little funny game to play. And then grab the Pallid Witch Flesh. This was mostly for the other models where I'm picking out their flesh, obviously, with it. But on this model, I wanted to get his eyeballs. I want to put... Uh, either red or blue in there. I'm not fully decided. It'll probably be red because I've got the paint in front of me and I'm super lazy and don't want to go looking for blue. But I'm also going to use it on the rim of his hat. Whatever that cord that goes around to the middle part of the hat is called. I keep saying rim, but that doesn't seem right. It's annoying because I'm looking at the artwork and it's grey and I could have done it grey. But he looks so dark and dull yet stern who has that little red ribbon it really pops and i i couldn't i could not do it i just couldn't i at the end of the day i know i can paint my figures how i choose they are my figures at the end of the day but i really wanted them to pop now right there even though the camera's unfocused the paint blobbed really annoyingly really annoyed me so I will have to go in with some black to fix that up in a little bit I won't show that on camera but the camera will refocus we will actually skip forward until it has focused right the other three models have the pallid flesh down I'm grabbing the slaughter red I'm gonna use it on that ribbon around his hat and that's pretty much it that's the only area and his eyes his eye lenses but like I said looking at him now he looks really dark so this pop of red, once it's down and you see it, you'll be like, yeah, you made the right choice. It needs that little pop of color. I get it in the comic, and I get it in real life as well, that why it would be gray. But for me, I really need that pop of color. Otherwise, this is a very dull looking model, paint-wise. I want it to look bright. I want it to be vibrant. I want it to look nice. And to be fair, it's really the only colour. There's a little bit of yellow that's going to go on to cover up the uh, the symbols and motifs of their order. But for the most part, this is a very dark, dull colour scheme. These are the men in black of the ABC Warriors. They're going around. They're hunting down scrollers and rogues that are living in Makana. They're executioners. They're witch hunters. They're Puritans. That's the hat. That's what I'm getting. That's the vibe. Finally worked out. They look like Puritans. Didn't Pat Mills also do a Puritan character? What was his name? Faye? No. Oh, that's going to annoy me now. If you can remember, drop me a comment below. It was set in like Victorian England. He fought zombies. He was a Puritan witch finder. Ah, what was he called? Damn it. But anyway, um, 
<laughs> the red's done on all the models now. And look, I love the black for once has dried quite nicely with the speed paints. Normally I shy away from it on smaller areas, say guns, because I don't think it gives it the effect I want. But it seems to have worked really well on the coats for these models. Uh, in case you didn't see it, that was Nasdreg yellow. And I'm very simply going to paint over anything that I want to look bronzy gold. It's the exact same thing I did on Wednesday for that Space Marine to make his armor look golden. The thing I love about speed paints is that they obviously show whatever you've primed the model will show through. So I'm using a bright metallic silver. It makes a bright metallic gold when you wash this over it. It's super easy. It's super cheap and makes my life easier. I don't have to buy more metallic paints that I really don't want to use. This way I can make pretty much anything a metallic colour. As long as I've got the speed paint or the army painter, I can just make my own metallics now. And I love it. If, uh, if you're worried the speed paint is too thick, you can always water it down a little bit, help it flow more. There you go. Look at him. He's very creepy looking. Uh, I decided as well, I wanted to make the guns look a little bit different from how they look in the comics. So I went with the Cryptek Armor Gloss Shade. It's ultimately a brown. It's going to give it kind of a dirty brass finish. I guess that's the best way to describe it. And uh, I'm just going to slap it on the guns. Nothing too difficult. I'm not going to touch the silver on the coats. I'm just going to leave them as is. His face, I'm probably going to hit it with a, a nun oil wash. Just to darken it down. But you're going to see all that in the glamour shots in a second. So as always, I really do appreciate you stopping by. I'm having so much fun this year with YouTube. It's actually reinvigorated my passion for painting. It seems like I have quite the loyal following I seem to be hitting the same uh, demographic and same returning viewership for every video, which is amazing to see. And I truly, truly do appreciate it. Um, and I hope you appreciate it as well, all these videos. Hopefully I'll catch you again in the next one, which hopefully is Sunday. It's either good. I've got, I think it's going to be Iron Man. I don't think I'm going to have time to do an alien figure. So we'll have Iron Man most likely on Sunday. I hope you'll join me and I will see you again very, very soon. As always, cheers for watching. If you're actually still here, I completely forgot I did the flesh shade on these guys. So I'm just Chucking down the rack, Franklin Flesh. If you're actually still here, drop me the comment. You messed up. You messed up. And I'll, uh, I'll have a good laugh. Anyway, cheers for watching. Bye bye.